Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Roy's Story Cubes. Today once again we have three stories and nine dice each. We're gonna try to make this work. We're gonna take a look at what dice we're gonna start off with. First to those who are doing NaNoWriMo, happy NaNoWriMo. Hope you're doing well with your word count. So far I've been able to keep up and I also have a few days where I actually had to uh, work ahead because there's busy days ahead. Let's see, I have seven and eight and nine. Right here. Okay, let's take a look what we can make out of these. Whoopsie daisy. Just gonna grab a few. Now, Nanarimo, of course, is a writing competition. This is a throne, meanwhile. These are handcuffs. This is somebody falling through a trapdoor. This is a house. Always good. Oops, that one went off screen. This is a judge's hammer. And this is a musical note. This is Red Riding Hood. This is a, I guess, a staircase leading to the uh, basement. And this is a brain. Move it a little bit up here like that, so not so much on the edge of the screen. There you go. Make sure to pause the video to uh, check out the dice so we can make your own story and post it in the comments below. As I was saying, NaNoWriMo is, is an international um, writing competition, National Novel Writing Month, as a matter of fact, and it's held every year in November from the 1st up, up until the 30th. You have the entire month's time to write the story of 50,000 words. Currently I'm at about 11,000, I think, which is enough for today and what that's just as well because Sundays are usually my recording days. It's Sunday today, not Tuesday. What are you talking about? Uh, anyway, uh, so I have to do a lot of stuff on the Sunday. So I have to make sure to uh, double up the Saturday before, which is great because we have word sprints and virtual write-ins and all that sort of thing on Saturdays, which are fun to do. If you're interested, make sure to check out nanoremo.org or is it .com these days? Well, one of those two or just Google it, you'll find it. No worries. Either way, we have nine dice here that await our uh, uh, creative input, I guess you could say. Let's see now. Um... Let's see, let's see. Once upon a time there was a house in the middle of the forest and inside the house lived a little girl. And she was actually quite smart, normally. And actually she was so smart that she had uh, figured out the system to the lottery and that won her a bunch of money which allowed her to buy a little plot in the middle of the forest where she could buy a little house and that's where she lived right now. She was quite wealthy. And one day she was sitting there watching TV and she hears this music that's coming from uh, not the TV or the radio or anything else or the neighbors. She's not quite sure what it is. So she goes and follows the music and eventually she ends up uh, walking over this thing and like a hatch. She didn't, she didn't see it before, it was like well camouflaged. But as she walks over it, uh, finding that it was the source of the music, she falls down and she passes out because she hits her head in something, it's not good. And when she wakes up, she finds herself in a courtroom of sorts. Because, well, she was uh, passed out, she'd apparently been arrested. And she wasn't quite sure what for, and everybody who was there, they, they spoke in a language that she couldn't understand, and they were all pointing at her, and they were all very angry. And they asked her some questions, but she had no idea what they were asking. But by the tone of their voice, you could tell that they were talking to her in a questioning tone. And so she shook her head and uh, she wasn't sure what to do. After a while, uh, the judge actually uh, brought down his hammer as she was sent to jail. That's right, she was down in the dungeons. Poor girl with her smart brain. Which of course she used to figure out exactly uh, what was going on eventually. She managed to talk to one of the people, she uh, started using sign language as you do when you're in a, a country where you don't speak the language, and she found out that they thought that she had intentionally broken uh, the trap door by walking across it in the middle of one of their music recitals. And of course that music recital was incredibly important because it was for uh, the guy who normally sits on this throne, their underworld king, and he was not amused, and of course she managed to explain eventually with her gigantic brain that she was not uh, intentionally wrecking things. She had actually uh, been drawn in by the lovely music they were playing. And so eventually they thought, okay, well, I guess that's... Uh, it's unfortunate that you broke uh, and, uh, the trap door and then crashed in the middle of a for very important musical event, but I suppose we can let you go. The judge undid his ruling, and she finally left with a big brain. 
and then she went home because she knew exactly where she was so it wasn't too difficult to come home but now she knew that she could always go back to the underground music people if she wanted to join a concert as long as she figured out how to use the correct entrance so that was that that was the first story these guys are going over here so that i don't grab them a second time otherwise we get repeats i'm gonna grab the next nine dice Da, 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 da. Let's see how many I have. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven again. And eight and nine are right here. Okie dokie. That guy appears to be fighting with someone. What is he doing? I have no idea. No idea. We're gonna roll them and probably we won't get that one anyway. So it doesn't matter what you're doing. Oh, there we go. The magic mirror is here. Also a temple gate, a whole bunch of footsteps, I think they go that way, and a book. Oh, mysterious. Mysterious, not mistress. Mysterious. A uh, guy on top of a mountain above the clouds. This is some type of gauge. Here's a shark. And somebody's hand. And somebody digging a hole. Hidey, hidey hole. Alright, make sure to pause the video here and uh, take a look at these dice, come up with your own story, post it in the comments below. I'm gonna take a look at what I can do with these. Well, let's see now. Um, there once was someone who had read a book. And in that book there was a story of a great treasure that was buried somewhere. You're, of course, already aware of what's going to happen now. And it was so great, actually, that the, the reason why it was great was because it was magical. And most people thought that was nonsense because magic was not a thing in this world. But still, uh, the guy decided he wanted to f go explore and find it. And he had written down a few coordinates, but of course he uh, had no idea exactly where he was in his map. So he brought like a little device that would tell him if he was going the right way. Like a left and right and a stop and move. A little bit like a, what's one of those things called again, a compass, but then slightly different and with more technical doodads. So eventually you found out uh, or found a temple gate, which is totally overgrown by a whole bunch of stuff. And he wasn't entirely sure if it was the right temple gate, but it was the only one in the area. And the device said that he was getting close. So he went in and after a while he had to stop because there was a pool. And even though nobody had been here in a long time, he could see through the clear waters that there was nothing but sharks in the pool. So he had to try and find a way around it. Luckily for him though, he found a whole bunch of footprints of creatures that had been here uh, in the meantime that also didn't feel like swimming with sharks. And they had found a way around the pool, so he followed them gingerly. And after a while, the device started to kick up like it made a whole lot of noise. He managed to get past the sharks and the thing was like beeping and going crazy and vibrating and doing all sorts of things. So he grabbed his book for confirmation, because in the book it said like uh, like it had a very small detailed map of the immediate area of where the thrush was buried. And he started digging around and he did indeed find the treasure. And he looked at it and he polished it and it was... A normal mirror and then later he went back to uh, figure out why it was that everybody was so hyped about this treasure when it wasn't actually magical but then he read an extra paragraph in a uh, historical novel about the people who had built that temple in the first place and it turns out that the people who lived there in that day and age were convinced that there was no such thing as reflective surfaces at least they had no idea how reflections even worked so when somebody managed to polish a piece of metal so well like buffed it up really good that they could see their own reflection in it they thought oh my god that's magic this person has a, a thing and they can totally suck your soul out with it because if you look at it you see yourself you're you're a goner basically it sucks out your soul just like some people think that if you take a photo of them then uh there's an issue i guess your soul gets sucked into the film or something like that so that's how people felt about the mirror and so it was buried because it was deemed dangerous and the person who made it was actually executed because they didn't want anybody to make a new one so his um, technique went with them to the grave and they uh, made a note in their books on what it was and where it was just in case an earthquake happened so it had to be moved somewhere more safe they knew where it was so it wouldn't just fall into somebody's hands and somebody to do terrible things with it like show other people their reflections so they could maybe do their hair 
All right, so that was the second story. Hope you enjoyed that. I'm going to put these guys with the other ones over here, which you can't see because it's outside of the screen. Ooh. All right, next nine dice. Let's see what we get this time. La, 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 la. I'm grabbing these guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There we go. Oh, we haven't had him in a long time. Used to get him almost every game, but now he's uh, been uh, feeling neglected or something. I don't know. He doesn't seem to like all the new dice. Let's go roll some. There we go. Uh, no sewing, apparently. This person has hurt their thumb. I had to check that one out for a second. This looks like a shield or a gate, depending on which way you like to look at it. We'll leave it up there. This person is, I think, coughing or sneezing. Not entirely sure. This is a nuclear symbol. I don't think it's supposed to go like that. That's better. Uh, this is something falling. This is the person in the tube. We've had him many times as well. And this is somebody who looks suspicious. And this is an old lady. All right, cool. Well, make sure to pause the video here once again. I'm going to take a look what I can do. Uh, you uh, might want to post your story in the comments below so I can read it. For now, let's see what we can make out of this. I see a few things that will work together. For instance, uh, there was once a laboratory where they had a new technique that they were using to turn old people into younger people. But the younger people would, of course, have a cough because the, uh, the, com the uh, chemicals used weren't exactly healthy. But uh, at least it would uh, shield them from getting any older once the treatment was over. They would just have this really annoying cough and it would hurt their throats and all that sort of thing. Um, but the, other than that, they were young forever and some people really enjoyed that. Some people like to uh, make things uh, pass naturally. They like to occasionally die so they can live a new life. Perhaps they don't want to be the exact same person forever and ever. But other people did and they went to this lab. So the people who went there uh, they were happy, but other people were fairly suspicious. And uh, one in particular wasn't very happy with this uh, entire thing. He was like, a, I guess, a natural life fundamentalist. He went in there, or at least he tried to go in there, because when he tried to go in there, he found that there were a lot of booby traps all over the place. He had to really watch out. And at one point, he tried to get through a door, but it closed on him, and his thumb got stuck, and he didn't like that very much. It hurt. But once he managed to get inside, he's like, okay, I'm going to sabotage this. I'm going to add my own special mix of things. There we go. That's probably better for you. He added like a, a, some chemical that he found that he for sure didn't need to be in there. I think it was from the broom, the broom closet, like a, a baking soda or whatever it was. He threw that in there. And indeed, that did make things very bad. The people who now went to the t into the tank old... Uh, never came out of the tank at all because it, the baking soda had such um, incredible impact on the chemical formula that they instantly died and then the lab had to be closed because it was uh, deemed unsafe and this guy was happy even though he doesn't look it because he had single-handedly stopped the people becoming immortal which was also messing with the job market by the way because how are you gonna employ somebody forever like not until they're 65 but until they're I don't know, until every company that used to exist no longer exists because they've all been replaced like 20 times already since it's been, I don't know, forever. Forever, literally forever. It's been forever because they are living forever. That means they need a job forever and most people don't have forever jobs. All right, never mind. So he was happy that that was no longer the case. Of course, the people who had already had the treatment beforehand, they were still out there living forever, but they decided to get extra security because uh, the people like him may now be going after him and to uh, try and uh, hurt them somehow. Of course, it was slightly difficult. So suddenly cough medicine was very popular, more popular than before because they didn't want to cough at all giving other people's reason to suspect that they used to be old and were now young forever. All right, those were the three stories. Hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to leave your stories in the comments below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time and bye bye for now.